Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News, and today is actually a video request. Uh, the video request is from Steve, um, and he basically messaged or commented on one of my uh, longtime uh, FAQs uh, videos that I did. It was a live stream about uh, run Windows XP for free within a Windows 8, which involved mostly uh, a virtual machine. And uh, a lot of people kind of enjoy the video, but uh, his scenario is it's really interesting. And uh, as he stated, he's currently running Windows XP Professional. And he wants to know if it's possible to partition his hard drive and then install Windows 8 on the hard on the partition that he just created on his hard drive, right? Uh, he still wants to keep his Windows XP OS as is because again, a lot of people still have legacy applications that are still running on Windows XP that Windows 7 or Windows 8 does not support anymore. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. So. First thing that you need to do, Steve, is you need to download uh, an application that will allow you to partition your hard drive. Now, I've used Ease Us Partition Master Free Edition. Again, it's free. I will provide the link at the bottom of the description so you get yourself a copy. Only problem about this installation is that is it kind of installs a lot of bloatware software that you don't really need. So I kind of recommend when you do install the application make sure you use custom setup okay do not do the express setup or the recommended setup make sure you do custom setup and uncheck all those utilities that you don't really need you only just need the partition master uh, application to partition your machine so as always I'm doing everything as a virtual machine I have a Windows 7 uh, machine actually Windows 7 Windows XP guys I have a Windows XP service pack 3 and uh, my machine is real small it's a virtual machine so let's get started so I have the application right here I'm gonna start it up the application is really easy to use uh, it really depends how big your hard drive is okay you want to give enough space for your Windows XP operating system to still function properly and as well as you want enough space for your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 to work properly as well. Plus, have some space for installing whatever applications you want. Okay, so that keep that in mind. So from here, you can either go resize move or resize move partition. You can pick whichever one you want. I'm going to do on the, on the toolbar, on the sidebar actually. And then for here... Uh, this is the reason why I like this application because you can actually just put your mouse over and just move it around and there you go. So I actually partition it 23.20 gigs. So I'm going to actually give it a little bit more. Uh, let's give it 24 and there you go. Uh, again, this is only a video to show you guys how to do it. But a best practice, you probably want to give your primary or your Windows XP uh, partition a little bit more space because if you're still using it for your legacy applications, those applications are probably using temp file, you know, temp locations to store stuff. Uh, as well as for your Windows 8 or 8.1, I think the recommendation of storage size is, I think. 30 or 20 don't really know but uh, I normally create my virtual machines of 20 gigs and it works with no problem so from here you press OK uh, and once you are happy of what you're gonna get finalize it by just hitting apply okay yes just hit yes on this part and yes you want to restart so what's gonna happen your Windows XP machine is gonna reboot uh, once it's starting back up, it's going to get into the Easy Us uh, Partition Master, kind of GUI interface because right now it's going to partition your NTFS partition into the, the amount that you indicated within the program. So as you can see, the Ease Us Partition Master boot mode is already starting and actually gives you, if you have like second thoughts on it, it gives you about uh, 5 second, 10 second. Uh, a delay that you could abort uh, if not you know just let it run and it's gonna partition it for you and we're back so 
when the application is doing the partition, do not worry. Your machine is going to probably reboot itself a couple of times. Uh, once it finalizes everything, it's going to reboot and give, you know, place you into the login screen. So I'm going to let's log in into our machine. And once I log in, I'm going to go inside our computer manager and check if the partition was created. Uh, again, we we didn't assign uh, a letter vol you know a letter to our volume. It's it's basically space that we put to the side. So I'm going to go to start, right click, go to manage, right click on my computer, and then go to manage. And then from here, let's go to disk management. And there you go, our 25.54 gigs accoladed space is there and ready to be used. So I'm actually going to close this. And I'm going to shut it down. So go to start, shut down, and let's turn it off. Okay, so when your machine is off, your physical machine, uh, for me, virtual machine, uh, you want to get your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 CD or DVD and place it inside your machine. For me, I'm going to place my ISO. Uh, and I'm actually going to not use 8.1. And the reason that I'm not using 8.1 is because my Windows XP is not built on a 64-bit platform. Okay, So if the machine that you have is an Intel processor that only supports 86-bit, you cannot go to 8.1 because I believe 8.1 only supports 64 bit. So that means you have to install version 8. And because I created my virtual machine as a 32 bit operating system, I'm going to try to keep everything nice and smooth. So I'm going to pick Windows 8 32 bit, press open, press OK. And you're going to start your machine. Uh, most likely, the machine should start up within uh, the DVD but sometimes if it doesn't go inside your bio setting and then change the order for the CD-ROM to boot so that's what I'm doing right now within my virtual machine and I should get press any key to boot and it's booting within Windows 8 that is a good sign and we are at the window setup. Awesome. So if you if you guys have seen my uh, previous videos on my channel, I show you guys how to run the installation of this. So we're going to hit next on this install. So once the setup is completed, uh, you get a nice little license term. We're going to accept the license terms. Hit next. And you want to do a custom install windows only. Now, look, guys, you got your partition one and then you have this unallocated space that we created with the partition application so what we're gonna do is select that go to drive options we we need to set a new volume we need it's 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 basically empty space it, okay so we're gonna do new I'm gonna use all of it apply and there you go now it's usable for me to install this Windows 8 operating system into this partition so let's hit next and let Windows do its thing. And we're back. So if you guys have been sitting there patiently, you probably saw a nice little dialog box with two options. One Windows 8 and another option that says previous Windows. That's basically your boot menu. Uh, if you didn't touch it at all, it's going to constantly reboot itself because Windows 8 needs to finalize itself. So once you get here, uh, you pick your color. Uh, I'm going to pick this color, why not, and give your PC a name, and I'm going to give it uh, BJ Duel 8, okay, and we're going to hit next on this, and let's give it a name, and a password, please make sure you remember your password, and give your hint, and we're going to hit finish. So it's going to finalize your settings, which is awesome. Uh, it's probably going to reboot your machine or it's going to continue doing this. And we're back. So our Windows 8 uh, installation has completed. Awesome. So we're going to go inside our desktop. I don't have the nice uh, cool looking start button uh, because I'm doing version 8. We're going to go to our uh, Explorer, go to computer. 
And as you can see, I have a C and I have a D. Now, apparently our D is our Windows XP. And because we're booted within our Windows 8, C is the primary one, it's Windows 8. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside my virtual machine and I'm gonna remove the ISO. For you, you're gonna remove the CD from your physical machine. Okay, so that's completely removed, awesome. I'm gonna make sure it is removed, okay. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to shut down the machine. Shut down your machine, or you could do a restart, but I'm just gonna shut it down for now. Once the machine is completely down or restarted, uh, you're gonna see a nice little window, which I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm starting my virtual machine, and if everything goes well, you should see a nice little window uh, giving you two options and here we go now I clicked right away because it only gives you about 28 seconds to pick an option if you do not pick an option it's gonna automatically boot to the latest or the last operating system that you install which was Windows 8 and from here let's pick earlier version of Windows so if everything goes well I should see the Windows XP window pop up and we're back awesome so we're booted into our windows xp and that's it guys uh steve hopefully this answers your question that you are able to partition your machine and also install windows 8 or 8.1 within that partition that you created you probably need to install the free application that i told you guys earlier uh, i will leave that link at the bottom of the description so you get yourself a copy just make sure that you do not pick the express installation okay guys make sure that you pick the custom installation and check off all that utility and bloatware software that you really don't need you just need the application to partition your machine all right guys if you have any questions or comments leave them at the bottom of the video don't forget about hitting that like button and share the video and i catch you guys on the next one peace out